this time, are there any council comments? Yes. Um, Mr. Rock. The mayor and I had some conversations today, which I feel, uh, I don't know if some council members may have uh, heard or may feel some of the same sentiments that he had, but I wanted to share uh, my concerns uh, and where I still stand. Uh, about the issues in my district and, and splash itself. Um, <clears throat> in all things social, such as religion, race, and creed, uh, we can be separate as a family. Uh, yet, we could be as one in all things essential, is essential for the shared proper growth of, us, of our city. Uh, our communities have supported all seven splotch. We have the south, east, and north, size of our town, for being tanks but not being properly developed. I have tried every method I have known to meet, to, and communicate this problem. I have tried to warn the council of the unrest and, and concerns of the community. Now we are at a point where we must answer to the people we serve. We can no longer ignore their concerns and leave them unanswered. We must find a way for equal distribution of these taxes, ways that we can answer those people's uh, concerns. Uh, people have concerns about sidewalks. I gave you the list that I had. And of that list, East Hill, Clay Road has been put on an indefinite finish date. Forest Street, indefinite. Venus the Forest, indefinite. Hill Avenue, Frock, indefinite. Park Avenue and JL Newburn, they have a uh, let date of August 2013. And I think that they told me Larry and uh, Mary went down to talk with DOT to try to get those done. The water tower has actually started. Ditch piping, I don't know of any problem. Uh, project. Capital project, I don't know. The water and sewer annex, I think it was on the list, but I don't know a lead date for that. The bottom, I don't know the lead date or anything for that. The Tongtown Fair Housing Loan Program. We met with those people, uh, had a, a meeting with them, and promised that we would start. We have not started on those projects. Uh, the intersection at Brookwood Drive and True which is a deal project, DOT project. There's no record of an indication of a, lit, a start date for that. Detention pond at a continental for the road by look. I don't know of any dates, start dates on that. Cypress Street improvements. And railroads improvements. I asked about that. I don't know if any day that we have an improvement on that. <clears throat> we have uh, asked for sidewalks. I have. Uh, since, we, since I've been on council, and sidewalks have been in every splash, every splash we have had south. But I cannot, and I may, I may be missing it, but you, I am, y'all, please correct me. I have not known of one sidewalk being installed in the area. District 1 has the fewest sidewalks of any district. District 1 has 35,000 sidewalks, two, 120,000 sidewalks. District 3, 80,000 sidewalks. District 4, 105,000 sidewalks, 105,000 feet. District 5, 75,000 feet. District 6, 90,000 feet. 
for a total of 465,000 people. But my point being, despite sidewalks being on every block list, our district has not received one sidewalk installed from this block's projects. And I think that it's not fair to our community. We are suffering in the area from infrastructure problems, sewage problems. <clears throat> I don't even drink my water. I buy my water. I buy my water. You can turn the water on and you can automatically smell sewage. So to say that, you know, we're getting our fair share, I don't think that's a fair statement. Uh, we are promised things every year, and we don't get them. Uh, I want to make a request on behalf of my citizens in my area uh, that from the city of attorney, uh, I would like to know of an ordinance whereby we could be charged, for, a, a utility company can charge us to make improvements to our right of way. Do we have an ordinance such as that where a utility company can charge us to make improvements to our right of way? I would like to know about that. Uh, you were talk, I, I assume you're referring to where the improvements would be done and you'd be charged for your footage of it, would you? No, on, on city right of way. If we want to go to make a right of way, like on the MLK project, well, that AT&T wire had to be removed. Yeah. How AT&T can charge us to remove that wire. I'm not familiar with any orders we have, but we're dealing with that. I'll check on it. But has AT&T tried to build you? No, not me. I'm talking about the city. Oh, that's, that's, in, that's in litigation right now. That's being challenged by the city. Okay. But if there's an ordinance to allow that would uh, allow them to charge us to bill us for improvements of our right of way. If if we in fact are improving the street, well the street, yes, there is a state law. I thought the ordinance is a state law. They, they can't charge. We're, we're to charge the city. We're contesting that particular one they and we've denied the bill that's been six months and they've yet to file suit. Could you please provide that to me in writing, please? Sure, yeah.